What's going on, folks? Mike back, Canadian Cards. <laughs> Attended a show. I don't know when I'm going to post this. Probably Wednesday. Today is uh, Sunday, March 26th at the time of this recording. Attended a show in Oakville, Ontario. It's uh, halfway between Hamilton and Toronto. Um, heard some good things about it, so I thought I'd... Uh, stop in i only stopped in for about an hour a uh, lot of like not a lot of vintage there um one guy had a 52 jackie robinson um authentic but it was just beat up and expensive which it should be it's a a great card but I did pick up some hockey, believe it or not. Uh, been on a kick lately, so thought I'd come on here and uh, show off some pickups. And um, yeah, just kind of uh, show you what I got. So I'm going to spin the camera around. And um, I am actually excited because in 19 days, is it 19? Yeah. A buddy of mine from up here, um, we are going to the Strongsville Card Show. So we're leaving on the Friday morning. Um, unless something happens with my surgery, but I really don't think it'll happen. I have a an, a, another appointment. They canceled my May, uh, March 1st appointment. I have a follow-up April 5th. I doubt very much they'll want to do it within two weeks of that date. But... Um, if they do, I won't go because I need this hip done. Uh, that way it'll be good for the national. But we are going to Strongsville, Ohio. We hear it's a pretty good vintage show. And i um, going to see how it goes. We know some other Canadians that are... I know of two guys that are setting up there. So they tell me it's a great show. So uh, we're down for the weekend. So if any of you watching are going to the uh, Strongsville, Ohio show... Make mention below in the comments because I'd love to hook up with you. Anyways, I'll turn the camera around and show you what I got. Sit tight. Okay, guys. So a lot of this is for resale. Um, uh, most of it. Some will be graded. But um, been on a Young Guns kick lately. And some that I don't think are getting much attention or you know some of the older ones that um people seem to forget about like this guy stalwart for the bruins back in the day tim thomas it's only a psa 8 but i got it for less than a price of a blaster and i couldn't uh i couldn't say no um he had uh some Good quality years. Um, won a cup. Won a cup, I believe, in 2011. Um, when they beat Vancouver. So, uh, yeah, Stanley Cup champ. And then, I think he had some political issues. I don't know. Uh, this will be for resale. Krill the Thrill. Krill Kaprizov. PSA 9, 10s are outrageous, 9s are Canadian-wise, they're in the 100 to 100, $130, $150 selling range. Um, this guy gave me a sweet deal where I could probably make 30 or 40 bucks if I flip it, so I took it. Um, it was all part of a package, too, uh, two separate deals. Next up, someone very underrated alexander barkoff florida panthers in a 10 and um yeah couldn't say no again uh picked up these three in a deal and it was a great deal and then on a separate deal sorry this was part of it too picked up a raw carry price now, I know that there's a little whiting up here, but um, even if that comes back an eight 
for what I paid for this, I'll more than double my money. So um, I'm going to give it a shot and uh, see what happens. Uh, I'll probably send it into PSA. And uh, sorry, I just had a call there. We'll see what it comes back as. Like I said, the price wasn't uh, too bad. And then I have an 8081 set that I was building, and it's in lower grade. And I needed one card to complete it. And it was this. And this is lower grade for sure. Um, I mean, it might be a three or a four, but I purchased all these and then asked him what he wanted for this, and he threw it in. So, second year OPG Wayne Gretzky. Yes, please. And then the last deal I made, I'm very big on this guy. J-Rob, Dallas Stars. Picked up four of these. Um, got the other three right here from one dealer. And then picked up uh, a big card with it. It says Future Watch Auto in a PSA 9. So I'm not sure whether to sit on it or not. Um, I probably I paid around two thirds comps for this. And then these were these J Robs are usually going for about 60 Canadian, and I paid 45 a piece. So, you know, three quarters. The price, so I'll probably grade those um, to sell some. They probably won't be back until next season, but he's having a hell of a career and a hell of a start to his career. So um, I couldn't turn this down. Um, I didn't even check what the number was here. 423 out of 999. Future Watch Autos are all out of 999. So. Um, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Talk soon.